For decades, scientists, including the legendary Carl Sagan, suggested that our solar system was a run-of-the-mill star system. Nothing too out of the ordinary, just a regular old setup in the vastness of the galaxy. But hold on tight, because more recent studies, including the one we'll be discussing today, have a different tale to tell. This study, titled Framework for the Architecture of Exoplanetary Systems, delves into the mathematical framework that unveils the most common architectures for various star systems. And guess what? The results might just blow your cosmic mind. These studies now point towards something extraordinary. The possibility that our solar system is anything but typical. It could be an utterly unique gem in the galactic tapestry. But wait, before we delve deeper into the study, let's rewind a bit. Why did we ever think our solar system was just like any other? That's a story in itself, and we'll be unravelling that too. Join us as we embark on a thrilling quest to understand the distinctiveness of our solar system and uncover the wonders that set it apart from the cosmic crowd. You see, back in the day, scientists faced a cosmic conundrum. The reason they thought our solar system was nothing out of the ordinary was simple. They lacked examples to work with. Imagine trying to understand an intricate puzzle without enough pieces. Their understanding of our star systems was mostly based on observations from afar, which led them to make educated guesses about the rest of the universe. Fast forward to today, and oh boy, have things changed. Technological advancements have taken cosmic exploration to a whole new level. Advanced telescopes now enable us to glimpse countless star systems and detect various planetary setups. We're practically galactic detectives. But what was the turning point? Let me introduce you to the star of the show, the Kepler Telescope. Before its untimely demise in 2014, R.I.P. Kepler, it gave scientists invaluable insights into planetary systems. After Kepler's observations, scientists realised that the planets they were discovering were vastly different from anything in our humble solar system. They were unique, diverse and downright mind-boggling. Imagine discovering alien worlds right before your eyes. Now, with this newfound cosmic treasure trove, researchers can analyse the planets, the stars and the whole celestial shebang in unprecedented detail. It's like studying an entire galaxy of possibilities, and trust me, it's mind-blowing. So, what makes our sun so incredibly unique? Here's the scoop. The majority of stars out there are social butterflies often found in binary pairs or sometimes even trinary systems, like a cosmic love triangle. Yet, guess what? Our beloved sun defies the norm. It's a lone wolf in the starry wilderness. Oh, but hold your cosmic horses. NASA once spotted a star system that turned heads a few years ago. They called it the Triple Star Spectacle. Quite the cosmic party, I must say. But despite the chatter, our sun remained unruffled, keeping its solo status intact. Meet 55 Ken Gray, a star system that seemed to be a promising candidate, but surprisingly, it doesn't quite resemble our beloved solar system. Sure, it has a gas giant lurking out there like Jupiter, but the inner planets are a whole different story. You see, 55 Ken Gray has a unique mix of gas giants and terrestrial planets, but they're arranged differently from what we're used to. One of the closer planets is even a gas giant. Quite the twist, right? Now, if you thought 55 Ken Gray was unusual, brace yourself. We've explored approximately 900 star systems so far and not one has a structure similar to our solar system. It's like a cosmic parade of one-of-a-kind wonders. 
For example, Teo Sitai and L9859 are both intriguing systems with their own set of planets. But guess what? They're not like Earth or any of the planets in our solar system. Talk about cosmic creativity. Now, TYC 8998-760-1 has two giant planets on display, but it's also quite different from what we know. No Earth-like planets or Neptune and Uranus doppelgangers here. Based on previous observations and data releases, this groundbreaking research expands our understanding of the most and least common types of star systems out there. And let me tell you, it's a wild ride filled with mathematical marvels and intriguing revelations. You see, the focus of this study was to explore the intricacies of star system formations. Why is this important, you ask? Well, picture our very own solar system for a moment. Jupiter, with its location and massive presence, plays a vital role in shaping everything else in our neighbourhood. It could even be responsible for the number of collisions that happen throughout our solar system. Now, brace yourselves for some jaw-dropping discoveries. The researchers used a powerful mathematical model to create a multitude of star systems and determine which ones would be the most likely and most common. Imagine the complexity involved in such a task. It's a challenge that would leave even the most sophisticated telescopes scratching their lenses. By simulating various star systems, scientists gained valuable insights into the potential distribution and arrangement of these cosmic wonders. With four gas giants safeguarding the outskirts, the inner solar system might actually enjoy extra protection. But that's not all. The presence of gas giants like Jupiter could also have influenced the development of life-friendly environments on planets like Earth through a series of collisions. Recent studies have challenged our assumptions about the universe's usual suspects, and it seems that unusual might be the new norm. When you look up at the night sky, you might not realise that the most common type of star system is right there, hidden in plain sight. Picture this. Planets of similar sizes cozying up together not too far from their host star. It's like a star system version of a friendly planetary dance party. This setup, often found in red dwarf systems like TRAPPIST-1, appears to be a popular trend among various star systems, big or small. But wait, there's more. Brace yourself for some cosmic mixology. Scientists have stumbled upon star systems that are nothing short of unconventional. Imagine a blend of gas giants and terrestrial planets mingling together in a celestial cocktail. Or, hold on tight, because in some star systems, the gas giants take center stage while the terrestrial planets prefer the outskirts. Who knew star systems could be so diverse? Now, get ready to hear the plot twist of the cosmic drama. The most intriguing revelation is that star systems like our very own solar system orderly, with the gas giants on the outer edges and the terrestrial planets closer to the star, are actually the rarest of the rare, making up only a tiny 1% fraction of all the star systems out there. So, what's the deal with our solar system's unique architecture? The answer, my fellow space explorers, remains a mystery. But isn't that what makes the cosmos so captivating? There's always more to discover, more to question, and more cosmic surprises waiting to unfold. It all starts with the birth of stars within large gas clouds. When conditions are just right, these clouds collapse, giving birth to various stars. In the Orion Nebula, we often witness the formation of these stars, referred to as trapezia. But here's the catch. They're not a true cluster since they don't orbit around each other stably. Due to turbulent gas and interactions, stars within these systems take different paths. Some might get kicked out, while others form stable binary systems. It's all a game of probabilities, influenced by factors like mass and metallicity, 
leading to various planets' arrangements. So, why is our solar system unique? Well, it all boils down to the molecular cloud that birthed it. Each star system has its distinct history, making the chance of having a solar-like structure exceptionally low. In fact, very few end up resembling our solar system. Now, let's address the big question. Does this rarity of solar-like systems mean we are alone in the universe? Well, it's a puzzle without an answer yet. Scientists haven't discovered signs of life elsewhere, but that doesn't mean it's not out there. As more discoveries unfold and technology advances, we might unravel new secrets about distant star systems and their potential for life. Until then, we'll have to ponder the wonders of our solar system and cherish the unique world that we call home. And there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed exploring the wonders of space and sciences with us today. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on future cosmic adventures. Share this with anyone else who's just as curious about the universe as you are. Together, we'll continue uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos. Thank you so much for joining us on this thrilling journey. Until next time, keep looking up to the stars and keep on exploring. Stay curious, stay inspired.